In this video, I will take you through my personal experience with the pig butchering scam. I will show you the chat I had with the scam and how I uncovered the scam. I believe that sharing my experience will help others avoiding falling victim to similar scams. It is important to be aware of the tactics used by the scammers and always be vigilant when dealing with unknown people. So sit back, watch and learn from my encounter with the pig butcher scam. I have already done these videos where I discuss and show how scammers approach me. All these videos are in Italian but I'm happy to caption them in English if you want to learn more. So write in the comment if you're interested. Going back to the pig butchering scam, it is a type of online fraud where a scammer wants to lure a potential victim to invest money within an alleged platform. The ways they approach victims are different. You might receive a cold message saying, hey, it's a bit nice meeting you yesterday. Another way, which is actually the most popular one, is through social media or dating apps. In fact, my case is the latter one. I'm not going to reveal the name of the dating app because I believe it's not the fault that such people use the service for fraudulent operations. When scammers approach potential victims through social media, they use fake photos in order to make their account look legitimate. When I say fake photos, I mean that they actually steal pictures from real people to make their own account. And what kind of photo do they steal? Most of the times the scammer make you think that they are cutie, basically cutie girls. And an Instagram profile might look like this. Of course, I am anonymizing pictures and names, but the important thing is that you see what you should expect in this case. Now, why it is called the pig butcher scam? Simple, they feed the victim that much to butch them at a later stage. Feed with what? Most of the times it's a romantic interest, compliments, in short, sappy shit. What do I mean by butchering? Well, they basically steal your money. I know that some of you might think how they can steal my money. Simple, by being cute and nice with you and using sophisticated social engineering techniques, they gain your trust until they ask you for money and then you're willing to give them. I know you might think you would never fall for such bullshit. However, the US Department of Justice seized $112 million worth in cryptocurrency assets derived from this kind of scam. And this operation was not done ages ago, was done just the 5th of April this year, basically three weeks ago. To summarize the context, scammers approach victims by being cute and cheesy to gain your trust, such that you're willing to give money once a request. They then disappear once they get the money and you get a broken heart as well as a broken bank account. Before we get started, I'm aware that my channel is in Italian, but if you like this video, please engage with a comment, like it and subscribe. If I see a discrete interest from an international audience, I can consider to make other videos for you. My channel is focused on computers, internet and programming. If you think these topics are of your interest, please leave me a comment and I will make sure you will get more content in English. Now, let's not waste more time and let's hit the road. The first conversation I had with the legend scammer was on this dating app. I will show you the messages on screen, but I'm using a little bit of color correction to make the dating app anonymized. If you use dating apps, you know they have a specific color theme. And to make sure that you won't recognize it, I'm changing the theme color of the chats in green. On screen, you will also see my scamometer. It will raise according to my personal perception during the message exchange, such that you understand when it was the moment I was 100% certain the person behind that profile was a scammer. Say that, once I matched with this cutie, she approached me by saying, Hello, how are you? My reply was, hey, uh, I'm good, you? I'm good too, where are you from? I said, I'm Italian, but I live in the UK, what about you? She completely ignored my question and she said, Where in the UK you live? And then here I put the city where I'm from, which I don't want to disclose. I am a half Filipina and half Aussie, but I am in it too. And then she added, Where in it 
are you? Well, my answer was, well, I'm at home. <laughs> <laughs> what a question, I mean. I'm not going to tell to a person I don't know where I'm exactly I'm located. Come on. This is being saved on the internet 101. Then she added, What you doing, bro? You work here. Then I said, Yeah, for the time being, I will be moving in two weeks as I'm a changing job. Are you on holiday? What is your job? No, I'm here for work. And then I said what well, my job is. I replied to her message when she said uh, she's working. I asked, well, cool, what do you do? She completely ignored what I said and she said, how long have you been doing my job? And then basically I said, since September 2019. And then she said again, but how long you've been doing that? What new job is that? And then I said, well, I told you it is since 2019. And then I said, if you consider when I started doing my PhD, it will be since 2014. It's almost eight years from now. And then she asked how old well I was. Well, I mean, it's written in the profile. I just said I'm 35. And you, and basically I said, I see that you are 28. Yes, but I'm turning 29 this month. Are you living alone in the UK? Now, if you see her approach, is to basically inquire me, like asking me, asking, what do you do? What do you live alone? Do you do this? Do you do that? It's like putting, you know, kind of pressure. Actually, you don't feel like being pressured. You feel like somebody's showing interest in you. But I didn't feel like somebody was showing interest. I felt like somebody wants to, you know, get advantage of me. And when the, you know, the number of questions they're getting more and more personal, my scam readers start to raise a little bit. Now, if you don't follow my channel, you might not know my some of my personal stories. Recently, before Christmas, my flag got flooded and uh, I've been living with friends since then. So basically, I don't live by myself for the time being because somebody kindly has hosted me while my flag get renovated. So that's why my reply was, that's quite of a long story, I can tell you in front of a drink. My reply was a little bit strategic. Why? Because the scammers don't want to meet you, because they have a fake profile. So if you put them in the condition that you want to meet them, they retreat. Typically, when I meet a real person such as dating app and ask them to meet, the answer I get is not the one I get here. They might get, uh, okay, let's see, maybe this weekend. Although the way she replied was quite smart, I didn't buy it. In fact, she replied, I'll think of it, but I think let's get to know each other more in private messaging app. And in fact, also my reply was strategic because I said, absolutely, I wasn't meaning to go right now. I meant that long stories are hard to explain here. Do you know what I mean? And then I asked her where in the city she was about. So what I did here is basically I asked her the same questions she did before with different wording, of course, but the same question that before I didn't answer directly. I just said I was at home. Now her reply is referring to my message when I told her I didn't mean to go out right now. And the reply is, yeah, I know, but I can listen. I got a patience to it. I mean, listen to to what? I mean, we are texting, we are not calling each other, we are texting. And my answer was, well, that's nice. And then she replied to my question where she's located and she told me like she's in a little town uh, close to the city where I am at the moment. And basically I said, I live in the south of the town, basically. Then my answer was, and what do you do in there? Like, it's a, such a small place. I might have it driven through once. Not true, I've never been there. That's, that's a lie. I'm working here. I'm a business manager. Ooh, we're talking with a business manager here. Question is, seems quite straightforward, what kind of business? And then she said, nice to meet you anyway, love to talk to you. I mean, we exchanged just a couple of messages. My answer was, again, a little bit more strategic. I replied, likewise. Of course, my scam made it worth raising. And basically she replies to the message of the kind of business she works on. Like, I'm on beauty product. Hmm. And then she said, love, love to know you more in WhatsApp. Message me here. My answer was, hold on. Happen to have Telegram by any chance? Here, I was having some suspicious that I was dealing with a scammer. Very rarely a real person give you the number out of the blue. I mean, they give you what's asked. When somebody gives you a number out of the blue, that's for me, it's a red flag. And then she replied to my request to chat more on Telegram. I don't have. 
Just have that one in Instagram. I asked her, can I add you on Instagram as well? Yeah, sure. We can talk there. And she gave me her Instagram account. And basically, Instagram is when we moved the conversation after work. I had a look at the profile. There were a lot of pictures. Not so many, but a lot. And, uh, no, with not so many likes. It looked pretty sketchy. I need to make sure that I was talking to a scammer 100%. I was already 80% so far. Then I contacted her with a direct message on Instagram saying, hey, yeah, and she replied, hello, handsome. Okay, now the scammometer reached the top. Uh, in my experience, people don't tell you you are handsome in the chat. In my experience, people tell me that I'm handsome if I am. That, that's another story when we meet face to face, but not in the chat when you see like a couple of pictures. Let's go ahead. Finally, you found it. Are you now staying to your own house? So here we go again. Why are you interested on the fact that I, whether I have my own house for the sake? I basically explained her all the story that my flat got flooded and I'm living with friends. And then I asked her, I mean, why are you asking? Wanted an invite for a dinner or coffee? Someday, when got a free time, let's get to know more here. Sure. And what would you like to know? That was a straightforward answer. Everything to you. Are you single? And I want to see your handsome face too. Can you send me a handsome photo of you? And then I said, there are plenty of pics here. Have a look. Besides, I don't think I'm a handsome, but I know how to make girls like me. The next answer she gave me is referring to the pictures I have on Instagram, which are basically from my late dog. Yeah but all of it is dark. Don't say it. You have the look. Come on, don't look down your handsome face. This is the, you know, the feeding aspect. She wants to feed me and in order to make me feel like I am handsome, in order to increase my uh, self-esteem, but because she doesn't know me that my self-esteem is already bigger than his home. But anyway, I sent her a picture and then I told you that's your turn. She said that for some reason she can't see it. Uh, send it to normal. I don't know what sending normal means and she sent me this pic. Yeah, which is actually a cute girl But I know that inside me that there is a scammer behind and then I sent this stupid picture of myself I had taken like two or three days before this chat, which I was like 8 a.m. I was <laughs> I was very tired and then uh, Sure, let's send the worst picture I have and of course her reply was with a heart. Yes, see You have the handsome look and then I said thanks and then I asked her, how come you're single? You're welcome. What you doing now then? And then I said, I'm leaving home to go in town today. Want to enjoy this a sunny day. Once in a while there was a sunny day over here. What you will do in town? You will go for a walk. I said, nah, I'll get a coffee and work from home. And then she replied to my question like, how come you're single? Cause I'm waiting for the right one. A serious one. Oh, here we go. And then I said, weren't serious before. Now here the discussion gets a little bit uh, weird because she's replying back to my messages and before. When I said I'm going for a coffee, she said, Oh, okay, that's good. And then she's replying back to the message when I said, weren't serious before, referring to her past relationships. It is, but something happened and it's getting worse. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's okay. It was the past. Now I'm now looking for the present now. How many now there are in a sentence? And then I said, I see. How long have you been living in the UK? And then she said, It's about two years. Just only here for work. And then she replied to my point of fun activities saying, There is of course. I love listening to music. I also do walking at the park, hiking, and love traveling, capturing beautiful places, keeping memories to the nature. She completely discarded my message and then she started to drop the bait. And sometime I do read notes when I got the time. And then I said, notes? I actually didn't understand what notes were. And she said, yes, notes of the market. You don't know that. Actually, I don't know them. And in fact, my reply was pretty honest by saying, mm, not really. Ooh, notes is where you can see when is the right time to put if the note is higher than the profit is higher to. Now, for you to understand my reply, I need to give you some, you know, Italian context. In Italian, the word node and the word not spelled this way, you can see in the screen, are just a little bit the same word, which is this one you see on screen. And basically, in some parts of Italy, especially the part where I'm from, 
Some kind of sausages, which I believe are the best ones, are sold in nodes. But because for me, node and nodes have the same translation in Italian, I made the following joke. Hmm, all I know is sausage nodes. They are amazing and they grill all barbecue. Ooh, that's for food. So what? What nodes I know is where you can earn good and higher profit. It looks like somebody wants to send me something. And then, of course, I was feeding back by saying, have you done any? Yes, of course. Long time until now, still getting good. Then she sees that I'm not replying and then she keep, you know, talking to me. It's easy to operate if you know how to use it. Then my answer was, well, I bet it is. Never say it was hard. Yes, it's just composed of two platforms. The first one is an app where you can download it on App Store if you're using iOS, but if using Android, you will download it on Play Store. Never ask this information, but thank for telling me. But you need to make data plan for it too. And then I told her, why don't you show me in front of two nice cocktails? I know some nice places here in the town where we are, where we can go, know each other better and discuss more stuff. But of course her reply says, It's better to know and learn it now, so that when we see each other we will only talk about us, not this stuff. Now, because she was insisting a lot by saying, Oh, you need to learn now, I said, or I can stay how I am and discuss other stuff anyway once we see each other. Sounds good. Yeah, but it will be better if you know the basic one and learn it so that when we got the chance to see each other, you already known and we can talk about us and we can enjoy the moment without any stuff to talk about. I'm basic. I said, you confuse me. You say we will talk about us and then we will talk other stuff. Anyway, it's better looking at our schedule and see when to meet them. I can do it tomorrow if you're around. You see how I'm counter insisting, you know, to me. I know that there is no good game behind the profile, but the only way I can counteract them is to basically putting pressure on them. And then she said, I said you can learn this one right now. I should learn this immediately. That how I could not have done this before. And then when we see each other, we will not talk about this stuff. We will only talk about us. We will enjoy the day together. Hmm, wow, what is that smell? That's the smell of bull****. Now, in order to understand my answer, we need to go back a, a couple of minutes because if you remember, she said that she was a business manager, right? And then I replied in order to make her a little bit satisfied that like she achieved a little bit of her aim to convince me to do, you know, notes and shit. I said, I can have a look later today, but you seem off today. If somebody's a business manager and she keep texting me, it seems off, like she has the day off, right? When do we make today our day? <laughs> After all, you said I'm a handsome and this handsome guy is happy to meet you. Uh, when I told her like, uh, oh, you seem off, blah, 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 she replied, it's not my off. I'm doing some work today and take it easy, better to plan it and make our time both free next month. Next month, for fuck's sake. I'll take leave. We can use it to see and bond each other. So basically she says she will take a leave to meet me that I'm completely stranger to her. And in fact, my answer was, next month? Don't you have two hours for a drink? I'm too busy. I'm rushing some work and reports. Ooh, business manager is too busy. Busy to scam people. My answer was, I see. Let's talk when you're ready for me. Now, what you should be aware of is that everything I showed you today happened in a single day. So thanks a lot for your attention. I hope you like this video. Please engage, like and subscribe. And when there's a second part, if any, I'll let you know. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you soon. Bye, Gino.